Money cannot buy the honor which you have earned tonight. Hey, what's up, everyone? So I see a lot of you have enjoyed the last couple videos talking about the events that happened in the old Image comics or the now reprinted in color Urban Legends comics, as they're known. These videos were Raph getting his face blown off and Leonardo losing his hand. And I noticed a lot of comments recommending discussing Donatello's events from the same comic run. And that's what we're going to do today. The stuff that Don goes through is probably the most brutal out of any of the brothers. And it's probably why so many of you requested it. So sit back and check it out as we discuss the time Donatello died a horrible death. So this story actually kicked off the old Image comics. It starts on Don's birthday. Splinter gives Don a gift. See, Don has been feeling like there's no place for him in the human world, so he is given a view of what their life could have been, a bowl of four pet turtles. He's excited for the gift. He goes to the kitchen to go get his cake, and when he gets there, standing right in front of him is a group of strangers. Donatello thinks they're part of the surprise party, but as we see, this is not the case. We get a visual of Donatello getting blasted, and you can see parts of his shell being broken off, his bow snapping, it's bad. As further illustrated in the next image where we see the brothers and Splinter looking down at a bloody Donatello. Turns out they are being ambushed in their home by a group of cyborgs and an enemy named Pamiko. Anyways, after the scuffle, the enemies end up kidnapping Donatello and Splinter and take them away in a helicopter. A bleeding out Donatello lies in the helicopter, motionless. He starts coming too, seeing hallucinations of his birthday party, and as he starts to wake up, he suddenly remembers what happened. Now in shock, he starts going berserk inside of the helicopter. The leader of the bad guys, Pamiko, sees what's happening and tilts the aircraft sideways. Don falls out of the helicopter and takes a cyborg down with him. The two are now in a free fall, falling hundreds of feet down to the street. Don knows what's about to happen. You hear him say, this is definitely going to hurt. Now, you don't get your typical cliche outcome this time. No pile of foam or rubber, no truck full of feathers or swimming pool. Donatello, in a free fall from the helicopter, slams into the concrete below. Now, meanwhile, Leonardo is trying to communicate with Splinter through the astral plane, when all of a sudden, Donatello's spirit arrives in the astral plane and surprises Leo. He explains to Leo what happened, and through their astral projection forms, the two go see Donatello's body to see if he's dead. When they arrive, they find the body smashed into the concrete, although it is still breathing. Donatello tells Leo he doesn't feel too good. Then suddenly, his spirit disappears and goes back into his body. Donnie, now in his body, looks up at Leonardo and says, now I really feel worse, and that he can't move at all, and that there's no feeling below his neck. Leonardo realizes he's no use to Donnie in this form, and goes back to get the others, so they can come and help in person. Now, after Leonardo leaves, things get a little disturbing. You start seeing rats come out of the shadows and sniffing Donatello's body. Now, it takes Leonardo a while to get his brothers and get back to the scene, but when they finally do, they arrive only to find Donnie's smashed shell with only bones left inside and blood everywhere. The turtles are too late. Shortly after the turtles find the remains, Leo realizes that the skeleton laying down inside of the shell has five fingers and five toes. But nevertheless, Michelangelo explains Don couldn't have just got up and walked out of his shell, that it's part of his backbone and spinal column. Raph kicks the skeleton and says Don is history and that the bad guys will pay. And so the turtles leave with Don's broken shell. The following day, the turtles bury Donatello's shell and say goodbye. Leonardo says, goodbye, Donnie. We're gonna miss you, little brother. As the turtles begin to leave, Mikey stays a little longer and cries by himself. Now, the three Turtle Brothers begin their warpath to get back at those who did this. They find the compound where the bad guys are located and begin an all-out assault. In the chaos, the Turtles eventually find themselves outmatched by a mutant Komodo, and just as they are about to perish, a blast comes through the room and hits the enemy. Come to find out, it's Donatello, but now he's a cyborg. Now, how did this happen? We do see what happened to Donatello. Alone lying there on the ground after Leo had left him, first he heard a sound, then he saw it. It was the cyborg that fell down with him, damaged and bloody. It reached towards him. Don heard it say, mutant target still lives. Termination is imminent. Then the metal of the cyborg crawled off of its original host and onto Donnie's body like a giant swarm of ants. The living metal entered Don's wounds and fused with him. In the flashback reliving this moment, Don can be heard yelling, pain, 
so much pain, tearing me apart, it's killing me, I'm blacking out again. Then later on, he woke up, alive, but now a cyborg. Turns out the voice of the original cyborg now speaks to Donatello but inside of his head. At first the two argue about who's in charge, the original cyborg telling Don, you're my prisoner. Don yells back at it, you don't get it do you, you're dead pal, all that's left of you is a bad memory and I'm going to erase it, and he proceeds with the command, computer delete all data concerning the previous host, and poof, just like that, the original host is erased. And so, that's how it happened, but that's not the end, Donatello technically dies again, later on. So, Donnie tries to make sure he's in full control of the suit, and at times it seems like he is, but at other times, the metal appears to have a mind of its own. The metal itself appears to be an organism. At one point, when the turtles are sparring, the suit almost kills Casey Jones when he shows up. Now later on, Donatello encounters a villain named Death Watch, who is a crazed superpowered creature. This creature grabs Donatello in their encounter and tortures him. Eventually, it goes into Don's memory of how Don became this new cyborg form, and he tells Don on. You never faced death. You didn't conquer death. You only cheated it. This fancy armor saved your butt then, but not this time. I've separated you from it. Without this armor, you're just worm food. And you see Donnie's essence leave from his body. Now, Donatello's body ends up defeating Death Watch, although he ends up slipping away. But you find out moments later that Donatello died during the experience. Donatello's body is now controlled by the metal. As it says, the entity known as Donatello is dead. Brain dead technically, as they find out later. The suit is now in control, but needs Donnie's body to stay alive. Eventually, this zombie cyborg Donatello and the turtles track down Death Watch, and this time Death Watch rips Don's arm off and blasts a hole through his chest. The wound is mortal. Now Donnie's body is dying as well, and so the metal starts coming off of it, attempting to find a new host, which it does. Now with Donnie being brain dead and now his body also dying, he gets placed on alien technology life support that some friends of the turtles possess. So for a while, Donnie's body stays in this tank that keeps him alive. Soon after, you find out Donatello's essence is stuck in that astral plane mentioned earlier, and eventually, Leo finds him in there again. And this leads Donnie back to his body, and he rejoins his brothers. Now, he still has some of the armor from the cyborg suit keeping him together, but he says the CPU of the organism is gone. It left as it transferred over to its new host, that it's just Donatello now inside of there. Now, towards the end of this comic run, which was finished in 2020 by the way, 20 some odd years after the series' untimely cancellation back in the day, you find out that Donnie has been healing under the metal this whole time, and as he gets closer to fully being healed, the metal starts falling off, eventually it all falls off, and he is left with just a metal shell that will protect him until his regular shell grows back, which I imagine will take longer. But yeah, that's the time Donatello died a couple times in the Image comics, aka the the Urban Legends comics. What did you think? Let me know down below. Also, if you're new and you like hearing about turtles, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. That's all we talk about on here is new, old, and upcoming turtle stuff. Thank you once again, everybody, for watching. I'll see you in a little bit with another video. Take care.